Welcome to the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. We're building the Level 2 rocket. Um, this is a very long process, so this video is broken up into several segments. You're watching one of these segments right now. If you'd like to see all the segments or build this rocket, go to the Apogee website at www.apogeerockets.com. Go to the products menu, scroll down and go to the uh, rocket kits, um, dual deployment rockets, since this is a dual deployment rocket. And there you will find the level two rocket and all the other videos on how to build this rocket. This is the assembly of the level two rocket. It's a great name for a rocket, isn't it? Just level two, because that explains what it does. Um, and I know you're itching to get building. So the first thing you do is you're gonna pull everything out and you probably pulled everything out already because you've already got this DVD playing. Um, but you're going to want to wash all your fiberglass parts. And so I have a bucket of soapy water here and a, and a sponge. And so what you, the first step is, is just wash everything. Now you're going to wash it because there's fiberglass residue from when they cut them off to the length and that little fiberglass can get everywhere, uh, makes your skin itchy and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and you're probably going to want to have this bucket of water around because you're going to be drilling on the fiberglass and then once you start drilling then you're going to want to clean it off again. So go ahead and just wipe everything down. The insides too, um, you want to get all that, all that fiberglass dust off. You don't want to be breathing that anyway. Um, and then, you know, it, it does help to have a particle mask, so keep one of those handy too. Especially if you're a little, little with uh, kids working around you. And this is a kind of a rocket you're going to want to do in your garage because, you know, like I said, it's fiberglass and you're going to be using epoxy, which is pretty stinky stuff. So you don't want to be doing it in the house. You want to be doing it in the garage or out in the shed somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything down and then we'll come back and we'll start building the engine mount. Okay, we're ready to start building the level two rocket. And from the parts, go ahead and get out the launch uh, rail buttons um, and you'll want this little piece here too this is called a weld nut and the screw that goes with it and there's two sets of those you'll also want a screw eye and a nut and a washer that goes with the with that screw eye um, you'll also want to get your your shock cord the nylon the two centering rings the 54 millimeter engine mount tube and the big tube from the rocket. Um, you'll also need to get some sandpaper, um, writing utensils, a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, I'm going to use some fix it epoxy clay. Um, you're going to want some safety glasses, gloves, particle mask. And I also got a, a Dremel here, but you, you don't necessarily need the Dremel, but it, it does speed things along. And you're gonna to want to drill too, and I got that under the table. Um, and you will also want to think about what kind of engine retention you're gonna use on this rocket. Um, the kit does not come with an engine retainer, uh, but you do have some choices if you wanna come back to the Apogee website and purchase these. Um, I'm going to use the standard Aeropack 54 millimeter retainer, and this is the 54P. The P means it will go on the fiberglass tubes. Um, you could also go with the flange retainer. That's this one here. And if you decide to go with this one, you're going to have to mount it onto one of the centering rings before you start assembling things. So you want to that's why you need to consider this now uh, because this requires that you drill some holes and mount it right to that centering ring. Um, I'm not going to use that one. Another option that you have is the tail cone re retainer and this will also work on the kit. It, it's very similar to this one. Um, the only difference is you're going to just slide this rearward into the tube so that it sticks out a little bit more so that you can get the tail cone on it. And that's going to change the look of the rocket, but it will still work just fine. It's going to look more like that. Um, and we'll talk about this part when we start gluing everything together, if you want to go that route. All right, so 
now the first step is we're going to take one of these rings and we need to attach the screw eye to it and that's going to get mounted right here so that means we need to drill a hole and so I'm going to mark it and you want to mark it right in the middle so like about right there is where I'm going to put my hole and for this I'm just going to put it in a vise See if you can see that. So I'm going to drill right that way. And let me get my particle mask on because we're drilling with uh, fiberglass. So there's going to be some fibers floating around in the air. So you want to wear a particle mask and hopefully I won't have to talk while I'm doing that. And for this, I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. Safety glasses. Okay, you see that the drill was walking around. So what I'm gonna do is gonna drill a pilot hole and I'm gonna to switch to a smaller drill bit. Someday I'll get smart. I had one ready just in case. Oop. Plug that in. Perfect. All right. Okay, so now this is going to be inserted in here. Then you're going to put a nut and a washer on the back. Now, when you um, put this on, make sure that it runs. Um, perpendicular to the edge or parallel to the edge so that it will slide into the tube like that. If it's the other way it's not going to slide in very well. Um, and also you want to check the fit make sure that it does slide into the tube and if it doesn't go ahead and sand the outside with some sandpaper. Um, I'll check this other one too. That one's a good fit. This one's a little bit tight. So I'm going to sand that down. And I also want to check the fit of these rings onto the tube. That one was tight, and that's tight. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding these. And again, you're going to use your particle mask. And I'm going to switch back to the Dremel for the inside because I'll go a little bit quicker. I'd like to thank you for watching this segment of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. If you're watching on YouTube, come to the Apogee website and subscribe to our newsletter. When you do, you not only get a notification on when we have a new video, but we also have a print newsletter that you can print out and enjoy. And it's also about how to build model rockets. So again, come to the Apogee website at www.apogeerockets.com and please subscribe to our newsletter.